Good evening, everyone. The 2016 Rookie Driver of the Year from the Norway Speedway can use your help in a national contest starting tomorrow. Norway's Cameron Clifford won a couple super late model races in one of Chris Kelly's car last season at the Speedway. He's a third generation, ra generation racer and a 15 year old freshman at Norway High School. Clifford is entered in the advanced racer category of the team champion search for a champion contest. He's trying to win the top prize of $50,000. Now you have to be careful because there are a couple number 18 racing cars in the contest. The description will say Cameron Ch Clifford chasing dreams to become a champion. Round one voting begins tomorrow at 9 in the morning Eastern 8 Central Time at championautoparts.com slash promotions. Voting in the first round goes through February 2nd. Now this is the same contest that Gladstone's Jordan Ives won in 2014. There is also an article about Ives progress on the championautoparts.com website. So good luck to Norway's Cameron Clifford in the search for a contest champion. Again, the voting begins tomorrow morning. The Michigan Tech, NMU, and Saginaw Valley State women's basketball teams are tied for the GLIAC North Division lead heading into this weekend's play. The Huskies definitely have the toughest of the three opponents tomorrow. Tech visits number one, Ashland. Ashland's Andy Darty was just named the USBWA National Player of the Week after posting 28 points and 9 rebounds in the Eagles' 88-83 win over number 4 Bellarmine last week. Huskies head coach Kim Cameron knows her team must hold the Eagles to less than their 95.1 points per game average. Our players are really excited to step up and challenge themselves. Yeah, the, the break has been the break has been good. We've had the 10 days to focus on what we want to do. Um, Ashland does what they do, and it's, I don't want to say it's simple in a bad way. They're just really, really effective at what they do. They don't, do any, they don't need to do anything fancy um, just because they're that good. Um, but I think that we have prepared, and now we're, I think we're ready to go into battle. Tip-off tomorrow from Ashland is set for 5.30. NMU visits Tiffin at 6 o'clock, and the two teams exchange opponents on Saturday. Basketball scoreboard not good for Community College tonight. The women lose to Masabi 65-36. The men were a bit closer, but lost to Masabi by the score of 77-69. Just one game in girls high school basketball after a couple others were postponed. Escanaba defeated Barker Rojera's 57-38. Back to women's basketball in Division I, Purdue down Michigan State 66-54. Forest Park's Lexi Gussert had a basket and three assists for the Spartans.